doctor because she would do anything to feel validated. So, with Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, and Justice. Okay, so she, wow. She's letting go of a lot of friendships. She wants people to see her in a different way. Nine of Cups in a more caring way. And in a way that people can feel like empathize with her. Which I Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to No Like Tara. My name is Hallie, so grateful to have you all. I had recorded <laughs> these videos before, but I didn't have any audio because I got a new microphone, so I have to re record them. So I'm trying to look at it in a positive way. I don't have to record it, but because I love you all, I really would like to get the message out to you. So obviously, the energy will be the same as the recordings that I've done before, um, but I'm just bringing you the message as I am into it. Please comment, like and subscribe the video. I really appreciate it. If you have watched a lot of my videos, you are subscribed, please subscribe. It says about 45% of you do that. So I highly appreciate it if you did. Okay, I am doing this video because I decided to do it. And you know, I'm a huge reality TV uh, fan. I used to love The Hills, I used to love Survivor. I love The Real Housewives. Um, but I do feel like there's an aspect of it that needs to be addressed and that is how these reality stars are being treated. I do know some people who have been on reality TV and they haven't, some of them have great experiences, some of them don't. I don't agree that they should get residuals, but I do agree that something needs to change in how they're being treated, some of them. And also like them being pumped with alcohol and stuff like that. So. This um, video is Bethany vs. Bravo, and I strongly, I mean, I've said this before, I met Bethany before, she seems so sweet, but now recently, I don't know what's happened to her, uh, she's just, to me, not the same, or maybe she was always like that, I never just saw that side, she's one of the sweetest celebrities I've ever met, she's very, very kind, and I've always defended her until recently, when I saw that she was standing up for Chrissy Teigen, and I that I draw a line to. So I want to see her intention behind um, why she's pushing forward. She just sent through her lawyers a letter of reckoning and so forth in order to speak up for the talent, talent of <laughs> this reality show. So I did pick up, I'm just going to tell you what I picked up yesterday when I did this reading, I picked up that I feel like Bethany is going to start her own network. That's one of my predictions. She's going to start her own reality TV network. But in order to do that, she has to make Bravo, whose parent is NBC, make them look bad. So just putting that out there. So with Six of Cups, and she's also hired, well, they haven't been retained yet, but I think that this is going to develop into something more. Um, she has hired two very very good lawyers and Brian Friedman is known for taking down let me not say taking down but going against NBC who is the parent company to Bravo so he's helped um, Megyn Kelly sue NBC he's helped Gabriel Union sue NBC so he is very specific in usually entertainment yes but going against NBC and ABC Okay, so I shuffled some cards and six of cups, two of wands, and five of coins. I see very strongly here that <laughs> uh, I didn't pick this up yesterday, but this is very interesting in the video that I recorded and I had to I had no audio. But I see very strongly here five coins. She pitched a show, and I did see this actually. The reason I'm laughing is because. I see here energetically that she pitched a show to Bravo and they were like mm -mm -mm -mm. and I saw that headline so I'm seeing here that it's true it is intuitive based 
Not fact-based, but I strongly believe it to be true. I think the reason why they took a pass on her is because they realize that she's very much about money. You know, obviously, so are they. But with how her show would have been, it wouldn't have come across very authentic, number one. And I think also she would have she would have benefited the most. She's very good. She's a New Yorker. She's also a Scorpio. So she's very good at um, manipulating and using people for her benefit. It's unfortunate. You know, I think feel like a lot of Scorpios get a bad rep because of that. So that can be definitely the shadow side to Scorpios. As friends, I've had phenomenal friends that are Scorpios. But I do see that side of a lot of Scorpios that I've encountered in terms of relationships and work-wise. Sometimes they can be very selfish and very manipulative. So with the Strength card, she's going to come across as like the strong one, Bethany, and um, act like she's pulling people. You know, when I pull, pull this card, I got the image of like Noah's Ark, you know. She's going to act like she's the savior. And have all these people lure a lot of these TV stars in, these reality TV stars in, and then basically kind of sink the ship. Even though Noah's Ark is a different story, but that's the energy that I, the picture that I got is that she's gonna lure them into a ship, and then the ship is gonna sink. So with the bottom step being the sun, I see very strongly here that. She is going to paint this image. She's very good at doing that. She's very good at painting an image of perfection. And uh, she's doing the right thing. And um, that she's the one to trust. So a lot of people are going to trust her. Um, I see over 70 people coming forward and trusting her. A lot of people from the past. I think Aviva is involved from New York. I get that very strongly. Um... Aviva, I think even Ramona has reached out to her. Very interesting. Um, I just got Ramona. But a lot of these people, they... they takes, there's a certain personality type that is able to come on to reality TV and stay on reality TV. And actually, it's not just one personality type. It's a few. But one of the personality types that she is good at using is a weak personality type. Somebody who acts like they have a lot of money but really doesn't. Somebody who needs to be told that they're validated. And Ramona, as much as I love Ramona, she's kind of that personality type. She's also a Scorpio. But... Bethany is very good at speaking to those kind of personalities a certain way. Um, she blow she you know, same thing that she did with Rachel in the interview. You know, I'm doing this video the second day, part two. After this, I am going to go into Rachel, so stay tuned. But she um, is very good at telling people what they want to hear and then using them. You know. And I think that, I don't know if she's a narcissist, but it's very classical narcissistic abuse type where she'll be like, you're amazing, you're this. She'll come from a place of compassion only to get what she wants. And, you know, now that I'm saying that, it's actually how the experience that I had with her many years ago, she was very, she came across very, almost like too sweet. You know, and I was like, wow, she's really sweet. And then I, w I remember I went home and I told my friend who we watched Real House, we used to watch Real Housewives together. And she was like, Bethany was sweet. And I was like, yeah, can you believe that? Like, she comes across such a mean person on TV. She was like, wow. And looking back, I'm seeing now that I really strongly believe she was only nice to me because maybe she thought that I could do something or. You know, like there was like an image that she had to portray. So with two of cups, seven of swords and ace of cups. So she's going to act very much like she means well for a lot of people. 
especially Rachel. She's gonna act like, oh yeah, you're, you're, I'm rooting for you. I'm in your corner. Only if I want to harm to betray them. In the end. So let me see what's going to happen between Bethany and Bravo. My prediction is that she's doing all of this because she wants to start her own um, reality TV network. And let's see, let's see, let's see. So by April, we're going to hear about this reality TV network. April 2024, they might even launch then. But she hasn't been able to get talent because she's competing with these networks. So what she's going to do is say, you know, Barbara treats them like that. I'm going to treat you with respect. I'm going to treat you like all the things she's going to lay out for the union. Her network is going to go by those guidelines. It's very manipulative um, and kind of scary. <laughs> very scary. So five cups, page of wine, slide of cups. Yeah, so she's going to come across as like, we are going to treat you better. We are going to do this. We are going to do that. You know, five cups is about being discarded. She's going to be like, you know, even though they treat you like that, we're not going to do that here. And I believe one of the people, one of the talents she wants to get on is Rachel from Vanderpump Rules. And I think she might want to have like a docu-series of her telling her story. And, oh my God. <sighs> Bethany, 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 Bethany. And how she has to start all over with the fool, all over again. Um, but true Bethany fashion, the boss of the deck, Ten of Swords, she's going to backstab these people. So let's move on to Rachel um, from Vanderpump Rules because I did also a reading on her yesterday. I actually don't remember what was in the reading. <laughs> there was no audio, that's why I have to record this. Uh, a lot of the time, I'll do a reading on somebody and completely forget. And then people have to remind me, hey, you made that prediction. Or, hey, you did that. Or, hey, you said that. And then it came true. And I'm like, I said that? <laughs> I have to rewatch it. So, <laughs> I can't rewatch that one yesterday. So, I'm just going to tell you what I pick up now. Okay. So, wow. Oh, man. Okay. So, I want to first and foremost start off with saying I have a lot of empathy for Rachel from Vanderpump Rules. You know, um, I was talking with my sister earlier about it and I just feel like we are both we both have a similar um, opinion about it that I, well, let me just say my opinion because I'm not going to speak on behalf of her, but I really think that We've all been in circumstances where we felt like we needed to validate ourselves, where we felt like people didn't treat us a certain way and we retaliate by doing passive aggressive things or by not feeling like we had a voice, you know. So I do have empathy for her. And after I watched the reunion, season 10, the last part, which was three parts, and I saw what a hold Tom had over Rachel, which I already predicted when I did um, the reading on them. I just I felt this energy when I saw her crying of how much he had a hold of her and how much he lured her in, so forth and so forth. And it kind of reminded me of two exes I've had that had me so much under a spell because they knew my weaknesses. And they were older than I am. And let's not forget, Tom is 12 years older than Rachel is. And when somebody is older than you, and it's almost like he was a superior to her because he's been he'd been on that show for a long time, you know, you want to trust them and you want to think that they have your your best intentions at heart. And clearly he it wasn't. So to me, the ultimate villain is Tom. And I've always said that. I've always believed it. I don't think Rachel should have gone that far and had an affair, obviously. I think it's very wrong. But I also think that there's more to the story. And as we're finding out, there is more to the story. Um, so, yeah, I'm just putting that out there. The only people that I really have empathy for in any of this is Rachel and Ariana. I don't care for Lala. I definitely don't care for Sheena. She came after me uh, on social media. <laughs> 
is another story I'll get into. But I think definitely that a lot of people have used Rachel for ratings and have used her to feel better about themselves. And ultimately, I do believe that this show, Emma Cast created a monster. Um, and she was that monster because she would do anything to feel validated. So, with Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, and Justice. Okay, so she, wow. She's letting go of a lot of friendships. She wants people to see her in a different way. Nine of Cups in a more caring way. And in a way that people can feel like empathize with her, which I get. Um, she's legally going to go after Bravo. And I support that completely. I feel like the re after the reunion, I do agree that Ariana had every right to say how she felt. But I also think that it went too far. I think that, you know, I do believe Sheena hit her. I really, really believe that. Um, I don't like Sheena at all, like I said before. I feel as though Sheena's very two-faced and very LA. You know, when I watch Battle Pop Bulls, I'm like, thank goodness I left LA because <laughs> it reminds me so much of those people. <laughs> so with the lovers, there is a love around her, but she wants to get her life together. I actually think that Oliver... Oliver from, well, Garcelle's son has reached out to her and has offered her empathy and support in this time and has been like, you know what, I know what it's like to be vilified and so forth and so forth. So I do think her and Oliver have potential to start a relationship. The both of the deck being death and rebirth, but she doesn't want anybody to, um, doesn't want anybody to know about her right now uh too much about her so let's see what's going to happen moving forward let's see let's see let's see okay so i do see her actually doing like her own spin-off i think she might do it with bethany uh six of pentacles page of wands and ace of cups just to show you know she's very manipulative um not excuse me she's very easy easy to be manipulated and i do think it stems from her codependency with her mother i have done videos about that before i think that she's got a very um manipulative mother i think that once she delves more deeper into her therapy she'll see that her mother um, i believe has some narcissistic tendencies her dad is very vacant not really there i picked that up very strongly and, you know, none of our parents are perfect, so it's really not bad to say the experience that you've had growing up, you know. I think a lot of parents come from a good place, but they're so um, sheltered or so kind of blocked with their own trauma that they can't uh, grow from it or teach their children to grow out of it. So I definitely see that here. here. There's a lot of family trauma that's happened um yeah and addiction in the family too that's kept very secret because they have money so the high priestess and three of swords not going to end well with um this show she's going to continue to be used um and continue it's very sad very very sad because what do you do you don't get you can't get a regular job just to make money somehow. She says she's in deficit. Um, which I'm like, how are you in deficit? <laughs> you made 350k from the show. But she's definitely going to get another show herself. It's going to be like a docu-series. I think with Bethany actually. And show her healing. And I just really wish people would not be so mean to her. It doesn't make any sense why anybody would want to berate somebody like that and just be so vile, you know, we're all human. And from Ariana's standpoint, I, I get it, but somebody who's watching the show has no right to go after her and berate her and treat her inhumanely. It's absolutely out of control. 
So if they're ones, ace of wands in the south. So they're going to continue, you know, I feel like one of her catch 22s about wanting to be in the spotlight is feeling like she'll go in front of the spotlight, get insulted, and then wish she had it, you know. And it's going to continue, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands, until she decides to move on. And she's going to move on to more production side of it. She's going to learn about camera, see her working with the camera, and stuff like that. Because she is very interested in film. And I see her taking that route moving forward. So in the next three years, she's going to take that route moving forward. But it's not that bad for her. She has a lot of um, rooting for her. I really, really am. And just like I have the same, I'm rooting for Ariana. I'm rooting for her too. We don't have to pick sides and be mean and vile. We can see both sides. You know, I saw this comment on one of the posts about the um, podcast that Bethany did with Rachel. And it said, this person said, I have five sisters. So I've really learned that everybody has a right to tell their story. And I, all I have to do is listen. And I agree. You know, we don't have to be like this versus that, you know. Sometimes we can just listen, take it in, be supportive, but not take sides. And I think this is a lesson to all of us to do that. To not take sides, not be so worked up about people we don't even know. You know, so, and I trust me, I love my reality TV. <laughs> but let's just, as a collective, take a breather, relax. And then just watch it, you know, without oh, so much judgment. So that's what I have for you. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care.